Alrighty. Well, hey gang. Welcome back. So, you guys have been asking for an update on my conversion here from an 8 inch J tube to a batch box rocket stove. So, here you go. So, yeah, so I converted the firebox to a batch loading, um, front loading batch burning firebox. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. I've been kind of waiting on this update because things aren't quite finished, but I figured I'd just show you how it's looking and um, and then I can update you later when I get it all done so the door needs some work and the bench isn't quite done. Those tiles are sitting there loose, but um, yeah, I'd show you how it's working. So I did extend the bench and I'm really pleased with it. It's got a lot of area to lie down. I roll those cushions out and lie there and uh, you know stay warm <laughs> and the tiles still need to be um, stuck down they're just laying there but uh, so far I like it very much it's plaster over hardy backer um, for the bench construction there's a half barrel out here at the end for the turnaround um, and some flue pipe in there put some pictures up here for you and that is working great. I've been waking up to, oh, 65 in the house after the stove has been out for 12 hours or so, which is amazing. So today is the, a wonderful uh, snowy day out there, first snow of the year. Um, about 25 out there, about 75 in here. Um, so the stove's doing great, keeping me nice and warm. And the batch conversion went really well. I just basically cut my um, 8 inch feed apart and um, cast this right in place. I'll put some pictures here for you so you can see how that went. And I have the window on top um, and the window in front. And there are some, I'll, I'll post the links to a little clip of how that burns. So um, overall, I am incredibly happy with the uh, conversion. What can I tell you about it? Um, I'm able to split my wood much larger, which is nice, I have to admit. Um, it's nice with the J to be able to burn coppiced maples and things like that, but I have a lot of fur that I need to get down, so I just sort of have that large format wood um, that needs to be processed. So at this point, I haven't really found any downsides to the batch. It's a little different. You know, sitting next to that J and feeding it was really pleasant. This is a little more like a normal wood stove. You kind of light it obviously and feed it from in front. The J was very safe down low. There was no hot spots down low for anyone to burn themselves on. This one does have a hot door. You know, it's much like a normal stove in that way. You know, if there were kids around, you'd want to warn them about the door. Um, and so that's different. Um, but the flip side of that is it throws a lot of heat out down low, which is really nice. So, um, so the ability to burn larger fuel has been really nice. My new air setting is allowing me to slow the burn down a little bit. Uh, so I'm getting, you know, an hour and a half between refueling now, so I might load it twice uh, in the morning and three times at night, um, which has been great. You can see that it is pretty much full of fire right now, and uh, most of the burn is happening back um, where you can see that glow in the um, port or in the throat where I have my secondary air going in there. Um, at that level of burn it's um, only about 350 or 400 on top of the barrel there or in the face of the barrel so it's burning really clean uh, I'll put some test charts up here I've been running tests on my air settings and it's running down kind of in the mean average while it's burning for oh you know a, a burn cycle is about an hour of really clean burning um, and then you know a book ended by some coaling stages which make more CO and whatnot uh, but it's running at like three four five parts per million carbon monoxide and right around 89 90 percent efficiency overall now a lot of that is um, due to much lower stack temps than I had last year and that's because I have this nice long bench uh, to really radiate the heat out into the space and keep the uh, heat in the in the room instead of going out the chimney so um, incredibly pleased with it. Processing wood has been probably the biggest advantage. I'm enjoying processing larger fuel 
and uh, and I am enjoying the longer burn times um, that I'm getting now with my new air settings. Uh, so those have been good things. The J was nicer to sit next to and feed, um, but uh, aside from that, I would say this one is capable of more output. I can put more fuel in it over a longer period of time. Um, the J was probably less, um, was more foolproof. This one you can kind of make it smoke if you do it wrong. The J was really difficult to mess up. So my bench tech here is just a hardy backer. The whole thing is up off on standoff, so it's off the floor. It's been a really great improvement to the room. I'm really enjoying the extended heated seating and the fact that it brings the heat way out here in the space. Um, and of course I have my new windows. I still need to um, trim them, but uh, they are making a big difference with regards to uh, how the room feels in terms of, of warmth. So. So one of the things I've been playing with with this uh, batch stove is my secondary air settings. So the white square on top there on the top window is the original P-channel. Um, and when you're using that, you run with sort of a wide open air setting on the front, the primary air on the front of the door there. Um, and uh, by doing that, you kind of run full out in normal rocket stove style. So what I've been playing with is a different configuration, a uh, secondary air delivery tube that's just in front of the port um, there in the back of the firebox. And that's feeding air from here in front. And as you can see, I've got little sliders on that uh, primary air setting. And the primary air is mostly closed. So there's very little primary air. So there's not much fire kind of in the firebox here and then as you can see there's sort of a lot of action there going on in the back and in the port going back into the riser so I'll post some pictures here of what that uh, pre-port secondary air tube looks like and some of the configurations I've been playing with I'm on the fifth iteration right now uh, and I've got some collaboration going with some of the guys on donkey's board and we'll try some other shapes and and stuff here in the coming weeks uh, but so far I'm very pleased it runs slower than the normal um, rocket and I'm getting very very good numbers so I'm really happy with it um, and in in average use it's very very in in normal use it's really nice because I'm you know reloading every 90 minutes or so um, and while the output is slightly reduced, in other words, the barrel isn't quite getting as hot as it would when it's running full out, it's over a much longer period of time, and I feel like that does a really good job of um, really charging up this mass in a nice, um, even way over a long period of time. So I'm waking up to a real warm house, um, warmer than I was before, even though it was working pretty well before. Um, it's working even better now. So, so far, so good. You can see my door is a mess there. I've got a plaster around it. I'm just, I've been uh, really experimenting. And that's one of the reasons why this update has taken a while. I still don't feel like I really am ready to say this is the way to go or whatever. Um, but you guys have really been asking to hear how it's working for me. So, I'm in no way saying this is better than the J-Tube or this air setting is better than the then the standard air configuration, it's definitely a uh, work in progress, and I'm playing with it, um, you know, but there's where it is. So I got to do some plastering. It's kind, it's really a mess um, right now, uh, and uh, normally I would dress this up before I would show it to you, but that's how it goes. So um, obviously it's still warm. Waylon really likes it. <laughs> he's, he's got a million warm spots to sleep on, and uh, Kitty does as well. And uh, so, anyways, there you go. So, thanks for watching, you guys. We will uh, keep you updated on how this thing is working. Uh, right now, we're going to go play in the snow. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.